Come on out here. All right, everyone. Uh, it's my great, great pleasure to introduce you to Diane Hoffman and her family. And of course, everybody knows that we're out here with the, the divas. Uh, Diane. All right, good. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is um, uh, Diane's daughter, Ruth. And her granddaughter is over there playing around with uh, Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. And she'll appear. It's Give okay. Them a wave. It's on her. Yeah, she's on her way. <laughs> and and uh, Ma, uh, Gertie is smelling the fact that I have some treats in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really thrilled to have Diane here. Uh, Diane is uh, one of the people really responsible for my having gone down this, this trail to create this cyber ranch. Diane, absolutely. You were part of my focus group. Well, that's true. You that's were, true. yes. <laughs> so, Diane, tell us a little something about yourself. Oh, there isn't that much to tell about me, except that um, I got involved in Dunrovin at a time in my life when I really needed something that gave me some positive energy, shall we say. Yeah. And that's what I really got from Dunrovin. And you would think that if I'm watching Ozzy and Harriet on a failed nest, you wouldn't be getting positive energy, but I did. And it was from watching birds be birds not do the things you know we know that birds right, do but right. what do they do when things don't go right and then get it watching this wonderful ranch and it really gave me a, a quite a quite a time yeah Maud. <laughs> Ma Maud says I'm not in a picture I'm not in a picture <laughs> and I can smell that you have treats in your hand and I'm in your uh, oh yes we're yes, getting yes. a lot of complaining yeah, over here uh, over here yes <laughs> all right there's a little treat for you here Gertie here, Gertie, let's, let's give you a little treat. Well, uh, let me explain. In 2012, um, I sort of gave the idea of this whole cyber ranch a little bit of a consideration, and we were using Twitter then, and we were on Cornell. Mm -hmm. And uh, Diane and Granddad uh, Rufus and Red Tail Celia. Hawk and Red Celia uh, w gathered around, and we all tweeted each other. Reno and Rabbit. Reno Rabbit. Uh, we... And I, I asked them if they wouldn't mind working with me in a focus group to see if this was something that we could create. And so Diane helped me form that focus group and worked with us. I, these guys are really wanting their treats, aren't yeah, they? they are. Yeah, <laughs> they are. I better give them some single more treats. Single-minded donkey. Single-minded. Well, this is well the, these are divas. That's what a donkey is. And that's what a diva <laughs> is, <laughs> too. Single-minded. Here, you, you here you go. Here we go. Here we go, Miss Maud. Yeah. I we can't have forget treats, you, Miss Maud. Dirty. Yeah. I have treats. Yeah. Do you sit? <laughs> okay. I, I don't Stand think up, she's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Gertie's uh, Gertie's out here, out here with us, and so is Maud. And oh my goodness. You actually look like Forrest <laughs> Gump. <laughs> I'm Diane. How Hi do you Diane. do? Nice to meet you. Here at Dunrove, and it's like a box of chocolates. You never know who's going to show up. Evidently. So and do you, you have some here? nice, lovely caramel in between here? I do. <laughs> oh, I my God. <laughs> have you ever said no to chocolate, Diane? All the time. Oh, well, you do. <laughs> you say yes to chocolate. Okay, I say yes to chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes my granddaughter. Well, she looks like she's anxious for She some would take some chocolate. <laughs> Let me get you. Oh, young lady, I'm Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, give And your my mom daughter, says Ruth. not to take chocolate from strangers, and you always do what your mom says. Right. She no. did that well. Yeah. I'll be the one to give you All right. Well, hi, Mom. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Welcome to Dunrow. Thank you. I was just running down, down through Montana here. Why not come by and make some new friends? <laughs> some people that I know and, and make, because here at Dunrobin, there's always someone new coming. There's always somebody new yeah. coming, but this is an uh, uh, a, a person who's been around Dunrobin in, in cyberspace for a long, long, long time. time. But this is the first time she's been here on, on the actual ranch. Wow. Uh, wow. It sums it up beautifully. And where did you come from? I came from New Jersey. My daughter and granddaughter came from Los Angeles. And so, so said, let's meet in the middle. 
Well, I said happy birthday. Oh, great. <laughs> well, what's your experience like at Gun Rover? What do you think of it? Fabulous. It is a magical place. It's just magical. And even more, frankly, than I had seen on the cams, which were fabulous to begin <laughs> with, <laughs> which is what got me here to begin with. I am only disappointed with one thing. W what's that? Harriet has not shown up. <laughs> Harriet. She missed Harriet last night. I missed Harriet, Harriet last night. Came, Harriet came and so did Hal, but they were off to dinner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and you know, Harriet, it, she shows up when she wants to. Well, she Harriet doesn't get was here to welcome me. Yes, right. Last uh, the night she came, that she 10 was there. Ten o'clock at night, but yeah. she right. did welcome me. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Well, are you going to stay a few days? Oh, of course. Well, then of Harriet course. will be back in time okay. for well, for that's visiting. Well, that's what that's what my friend Suzanne keeps telling me. <laughs> she'll be back. She'll, she'll, be, she'll back. be back. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they come back but in the in, in the evening. It is an amazing place between Don't the have horses and the the birds and the wonderful people. I have to tell you that the real secret of Montana is its people. <laughs> and I didn't understand how wonderful the people were until I actually landed here. Well, so welcome welcome to Montana so. and welcome to Dunrove and it's uh uh, now this horse here was out horse. in the rain oh, too long wait a minute. and shrunk. Horse, yeah. this oh. horse. Look at Gertie. Oh, it's a donkey. It's no. a donkey. Look, <laughs> Gertie just backed back and went. Yeah. Horse. <laughs> horse. I'm not oh a yeah. Horse. Well, that, uh, well, donkeys are way smarter than the horses. Way now smarter. Oh, and now good. she's saying. You yeah. owe me a treat. I better get you know a those, treat. You know those chocolates? You better get one for a donkey. Yeah, you better get one for the diva. You better get a, give me a donkey treat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You, you're getting a, a donkey uh, push. Mm, no, that was very close to what you were saying. Very good. <laughs> well, how long have you known Dunrovin uh, virtually? Before you, Since I know 2013. So, uh, several years. Spring of, yep, several years. And I started watching it because the nest... They were, first of all, very interesting. I knew nothing about Osprey except that I knew I liked them. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't have any intimate knowledge of Osprey other than watching them fly by on platforms. I do uh, think it's very appropriate that one celebrity should be giving a, a, a treats to another celebrity. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, I agree. And, and these girls consider themselves top-notch celebrities. They, uh, they're not, uh, they run the place. Yeah, they do. And, and they're sort of wondering if they could speak to your agent. Sure. They need My agent's agent. always looking for other uh, new stars. Talent. New, new talent. talent. New yeah. talent. New yeah. talent. Yeah. Well, they're standing there saying, how come everybody gets treats and I don't? Yeah. Here, give me one for Maud. Oh, Maud's got to have some treats. Yeah. Yeah. Maud ha is standing over there so patient. Yeah. So patient. <laughs> Harper, why don't you come over and give Maud some treats? Yeah, Maud wants one there for sure. These are more So, Forrest, what do you have in your suitcase? Well, I, you know, when you're a, a guy who a travels a here. lot, you, you have to have the basics so that you that. are prepared for everything. Well, so that's fabulous. So, I probably have my ping pong paddle in there and some extra chocolates and, oh. and maybe a ping pong ball if we... Uh, you don't have ping pong here at Dunrovin. We don't, but you know, I wonder if the divas <gasps> could learn we ping pong. Say, I bet the divas could. Yeah. 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 They, yeah. they, they do everything else. They certainly they do. do. <laughs> they really well, this do. is just marvelous that you should stop by and meet Diane. She really is one of the people responsible for me doing this whole cyber ranch. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She encouraged me, and you don't, you know, you you you, you don't. Not encourage me and not expect something to happen. <laughs> well, Diane, the way the way life works is that uh, we're just sitting on a bench minding our own business, and a feather floats out of the air and it comes and lands at your feet. And 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 Dunrovin is an example of a feather that that new feathers keep showing up. And and that's exactly how you've built Dunrovin, isn't it? Because you a feather would show up and we and got lots of feathers. Yes, yeah. they keep falling at my feet, and <laughs> I, you know, my father used to tell me, he said Suzanne, you have lots of willpower. It's a want power that you lack. <laughs> 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 and it's true. That's why I didn't offer you a chocolate. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I just jump right in and get it. Well, you know, the thing is that Dunrovin, I, you know, I've watched the ranch and Suzanne clearly loved the ranch. When I first came in in 2013, the love in the ranch that she had for this, for her horses, for each one of her horses, oh. was palpable. And that was the one thing that, you know, it wasn't just a bird sight. This mm -hmm. is way more than a bird sight. 
and we begged her not to turn the cams off after the uh, osprey migrated because most bird cams, once the birds are gone, they just turn it off because right. there's nothing more to watch. Right, and, and nest Suzanne left the cams on, and we watched. I would get up in the morning to watch the horses being fed in the morning. I took the first video I ever took in my life of the stampede in the morning because they opened that gate down there, and all the horses come flooding down here to get fed. So, you know, I, it was just a magical thing and a life that I knew nothing about. I mean, I live in New Jersey. We don't have horse stampedes for breakfast. <laughs> 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 or donkeys braying, reminding donkey, you that, yeah. it, that you're late for breakfast. And if breakfast. you happen to leave your PC on, all you hear is this. <laughs> 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 and you know it's time to wake up at Dunrobin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they That's have right. This, this is their alarm clock. It here. is. Yeah. And you're doing a great job here, Harper. Did you yes, learn how to lead a horse? Remember that you don't want to put the, the lead around your, your, your hand. You fold it in your hand so that it doesn't go around your hand. Very good. Yeah, very good. Very good. That's an important thing to learn, isn't it? Always want to be safe. Harper and her mother have gone riding here. Uh -huh. they, they're they doing this with the donkeys. They just love it here. This Harper, do you, like, do you like visiting Dunrovin? Is this a, a, a fun, it's not like a, a regular vacation where you just go and, and sit around. This is a vacation where you have to work. You have to get on horses and learn how to do different things she about She came out ranch. to feed this morning. She fed them this morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scoop poop. That's, that's the other part. What oh, goes in one and comes out the other end. That's, I just that's, that's a fun job. It has to, God, we really well, got to do that. has to be done. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It has to be done, that's but right. I don't think and that one was one her favorite part. Oh, yeah. And one wonders who trained who, huh? <laughs> 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 Who's doing the real training around here? Well, Forrest, I really appreciate your coming by. Well, I was great to meet some new guests, and, and, and maybe I'll come back again. That would be just terrific. Forrest, Please do. it was so nice finally meeting All you right. in person. Mm. Again, off the celluloid and in person. That's right. That's, <laughs> That's right. what this weekend is about. Off yeah. the beast. <laughs> off the, in, off in the celluloid and in Look at these. Uh, the, uh, Ma Miss Maud likes my suitcase. That's oh, they do. Maud, this, yeah. Yes. And, and Gertie. Oh, you oh. think it's the chocolate that they're smelling? Is that the reason why? Yeah. So it's really not the suitcase. It's the chocolate. It could yeah. be. Yeah. 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 That's the same the way you were when I, I first met you. I you, wanted the you, chocolate. I wasn't <laughs> interested in the suitcase. Oh, come on. It's a sweet personality. <laughs> it is. That too. Well, that if, too. I, if I don't get going, I won't get where I'm going to go. So well, I, I, guess I'll, really I guess I'll have to, to just run on down the road. road again. Great to meet everybody. And, and Harper, you are definitely the the smartest one out of the whole family. That's what I think. <laughs> let's let's just say that Harper. Everybody ends up listening to Harper, so that that kind of does make her the smartest. Doesn't I it? think it does <laughs> oh, indeed. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Your mom's not ag agreeing with that 100 percent. How old are you? Ten. Oh yeah, ten. That's right. Oh, you're still at the age where you have to listen to your mom, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, life's tough sometimes when you're 10. It is tough when you're 10. <laughs> but it's done roving. It's never <laughs> tough. That's right. It's a fun day. All, All right, right. We'll see you Thank later. Thank you very much. Mr. Gump. Okay, Mr. Gump. Diana, enjoy your nice visit. How long you. will you stay? Till Wednesday. Oh, boy. You'll be you'll be running the place by Wednesday. She will be. You oh. and Harper. I, they probably won't let me. I, I probably won't want to go home. <laughs> you won't want to go home. Very good. I'll just stay here and work. <laughs> well, great. Well, they're welcome to. They're welcome to Thank stay, you yeah. for okay. coming. We very much see, appreciate it. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. There he goes running, 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 always running. He knows. She knows exactly where the treats are. Look at her. She's very smart. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to button it up. Button Wasn't it up. Wasn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> that was <Going>. fun. <laughs> you must be driving the trailer. Oh yeah. You did. You did promise me I wouldn't okay, have very to worry. Okay, very good. <laughs> good. No, always work to do here at Dunwoodland. He's unmiking. Okay.